Okay, a little bit of backstory. For the last 639, 640 vlogs, I pretty much shot everything chronological. Something happens, I shoot it, and I show it to you guys. But every now and then, I make a mistake. And I shoot something, which has been kind of piled up. I'm kind of five days behind. And there's one vlog I completely forgot about. You guys have seen me driving this charger in the last few days. I already took it back to the museum. But I forgot to show you guys when I picked it up and some of the cool stuff we saw along the way. So today, it's a time travel episode. We're gonna go back in time and I'm gonna show you that stuff. But before I do, a little plug for Garage Style Magazine, which just came out. The latest issue of Garage Style. You wanna pick it up. And the reason you wanna pick it up is because there's an article in it right there. You're gonna wanna read that. Thanks for the people at Garage Style Magazine for asking me to write for them. This will be on stands until August. So pick up a copy. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and tomorrow we'll be right back in the swing box. Today, we decided to go to the beach for a short period of time, and then we're headed up to the Murphy Museum to grab a cool car. But uh, we're going to a beach that we have not been to. Have you been here before? Nope. This is El Matador State Beach, which is one of the, one of the beaches here in Malibu. It's pretty pretty. beach is pretty intense. Check this out. As usual. Matador 
We don't have a lot of time today. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back for sure. Take you all the way down there. Point south, all kinds of places. Truly spectacular. Freaking night rider car in the parking lot here at the beach. You never know. here to pick up something really cool. You guys have actually seen this car. Something over here I wanna check out. Here's a really nice Buick gate. Check that out. to talk to David at the uh, Murphy because I was too damn excited to get in the car. But this is a 1967 Dodge Charger. Fastback. Super big thanks to David Neal at the Murphy Automotive Museum. Murphy Auto Museum, I'm not really sure which one it is. But either way, it's one of the coolest museums in Southern California because, uh, well, David runs it and he's a big car guy and um, he just loves community. And he's very gracious, very giving. Uh, we have a, a spectacular vintage trailer show that's coming up at Buellton. Um, and uh, not, only, not only am I going to the vintage trailer show, but I'm bringing Tony Dow and his wife Lauren. We're gonna have a spectacular time. I'm gonna bring all you guys. It's gonna be four days looking at 195 vintage trailers. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Now on the blog here, we're, we're trying to get you guys to do something. We're trying to get you guys to realize something, something very powerful, something very intimate, something closer to you than you actually know. That is what you give out into the world is what that comes back to you. Now that's a statement that pretty much anyone can say, but proving it, proving it, that's the thing. When you're generous and you give out love into the world, wonderful things come back to you. Now many people don't necessarily understand this. They give out hate, they give out fear, they give out anxiety, they give out a lot of negative things into the world, and they're surprised why all the negativity surrounds them, swirls them like a big vat of goo. And always giving out good things is not necessarily easy because you have to overcome those fears and those anxieties. It's like getting onto the racetrack for the first time. You're not really sure what you're gonna do. You're not really sure what's gonna happen. There's a lot of things floating around, and but you gotta have faith. You gotta have faith that things are gonna work out. And that's that's part of what it is that we're trying to convey to you guys. Improving your life through what you love is an art. 
it's not something that everyone can do. It's not something that's easy to do necessarily. Sometimes it requires a leap of faith. Sometimes it requires you to do the hardest thing in the world. Sometimes it requires you to stop criticizing yourself. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop freaking just giving yourself a hard time. Let it go. But I do my best to surround myself with positive people, with people that feel good about life and that love to give and understand that when they give, when they're generous, good things come back to them. Now I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again and I'm gonna keep saying it until you guys get this. I want you to leave a comment down in the, in the comment section if you understand what I'm talking about. Your life will get better if you give out those things that you love, if you concentrate on those things that you love, if you set an intention, if you think about what you love more than what you don't. And I love cars and I love the beach. And so does Kathy. But I also love giving it to you guys. So have a freaking awesome week. Get focused on what you love and get out there. Get excited about your life and go do something fun. And don't forget to subscribe.